Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mac and this let's play will cover the John Tiller campaign series. A great platoon level uh, tactical uh, turn-based uh, combat game in the World War II covering the three major fronts of East Front, West Front and the Pacific Front. I just fired up this East Front, so this is what the East Front uh, looks like when you open up the game, the main menu here. Uh, this game is from the legendary um, tactical uh, wargamer John Tiller. It was released originally from a gaming company called uh, Talon Soft, I think, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, probably in the 90s, maybe, yeah. I can't remember, it's so long ago. Anyways, um, Matrix Games have released all these uh, three great games in a, in a big bundle with all the add-ons and all the scenarios and other goodies. Um, and you can actually buy it from their website. So, I was thinking of covering East Front. Uh, we're going to go through game mechanics and tactics and menu systems. And even, I think, do one of these, the generated battle. Just to get in the action, you can see how the game gameplay works and stuff like that. So, uh, this great game here, you're greeted by this menu here, and obviously that very loud music that I've tried to <laughs> turn down the volume on. So, um, if you press exit, you go out of the game, of course. So, you can have a, there is a very extensive scenario list here. So, if you go here, you can start a new scenario, you can resume the same one, you can play modem host, modem caller, okay, this is some really old stuff, old school stuff here. You can play by email and hot seat. Uh, I've covered that in my uh, Steel Panthers uh, walkthrough. The, the hot seat is actually if you are in the same room and uh, you're playing a scenario and you uh, one, one person sits by the computer, plays his turn and gets off, and the other one sits down and plays his turn. It's a fun way to hang out and have a couple of beers and play a good war game. Play by email is, uh, yeah, basically before the age of online gaming when you used to um, you play a turn and save it in a small file and you send that to your opponent and he or she puts it in her game folder and fires it up, plays her turn and saves it, sends it back and forth like that. Good thing about this was that you could play, um, you know, anywhere in the world and still be, you, know, you check your emails and you download the file and obviously you have to have the game on your computer and you could play your turn. Yeah. Good fun. I've done a lot of that through the years. So uh, you can have a look at the scenarios here. You go start a new game, for instance. And there is like loads of scenarios here. Wow, there's like, I don't know how many, but there's loads. Uh, you could sort them through complexity here. You have this complexity buttons. Now it's complexity one, and uh, if you scroll down, it's still, here's two, it gets a bit larger. Uh, I think it goes all the way up to, uh, I'm not sure, maybe 10 or nine or something. Yeah, it's, yeah it has a Pretty big uh, battles in this game. So it's platoon size. Uh, you usually, the smallest formation, you, yeah, 10 is the largest complexity there. So uh, <clears throat> it's platoon size, and the, the smallest forces you are commanding is a battalion. And then it goes up to army, division, or corps, or something like that. So you can have some pretty, pretty big forces. You can sort the scenario list by turns, you know. Five turns here. There's a lot of boot camps and introductory scenarios that are very good to play. You should do that if you're completely new to the game. Uh, it covers extensively in the manual, and you can uh, go through these boot camps to learn, to, you know, the basic ropes of the game here. You can sort it from date. So you started here. At first scenario is already September 39, and then he goes to 45. Uh, you can have uh, sorted by uh, first side. The allies or uh, the um, axis, I guess. Yeah. Uh, file names and designers and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so you can go back to the main menu here. You can edit scenarios. I won't go into that. I've actually never done it myself, but it's all covered in the manual. And another great feature is the campaign systems. So now there is a lot of campaigns in this game. So. I have some old ones here, but you can begin a new one, for instance. And wow, look at all these some campaigns here. So there's two 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 types of campaigns in these games. One is called dynamic campaign. That means so, for instance, this Operation Barbarossa North started uh, June 22nd, 
the 22nd, 1941, and ended in May 7, 1945. That basically covers the whole Northern uh, Army Group uh, of the invasion of uh, Russia for the Germans. But you could play as Germans, or you could play as Russians. Russians, obviously, very challenging in the, in the first uh, half of the campaign. And for the Germans, uh, a bit more easier. Uh, and dynamic means that the scenarios are actually randomly generated, uh, but you accumulate experience for your forces and uh, morale boosts, and um, you, you get after every battle you get a random set of reinforcements to replace your losses. And basically, the uh, every every scenario is, is generated randomly. So uh, that's that's the uh, the meaning of the dynamic one here. But you do also have, and you have loads. You have north. Central South. That obviously covers the whole whole war there in the Eastern Front. Just those three there, and you will play a massive amount of scenarios and battles in those. Then, you, then they have some more specific campaigns like the Operation Typhoon here, when uh, the, uh, the 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 Germans really tried to capture Moscow. Their uh, winter offensive there, and they. Uh, yeah, they were just outside the gates of Moscow, and they failed because of the harsh winter conditions and the constant Russian counterattacks. You have uh, Moscow counter-offensive. Uh, uh, That's picking up after Operation Typhoon, basically, when the Russians counterattack. You have Case Blue here, the seize of the fortress of Sevastopol, uh, Citadel and beyond, Operation uh, ba ba Bagrasham. Uh, also, uh, you can you can see you can choose either to be the Germans or the Russians here. That's pretty cool. Polish tragedy. That's the Polish campaign there. You can either play the Germans or the Pol, and you can choose your command level also for all these campaigns. If you want to have a battalion size, uh, regiment, that's three battalions, brigade. Uh, I'm not sure how much that is, but that's a couple of regiments in there. Uh, division, huge of course, and corps. Corpse is the largest. Loads of troops to control there. I usually play this game in battalions. I, I think a battalion is, is more than enough to keep track of. And I like that the battles are a bit smaller and you have a better overview of your forces. All right, moving on here, you have the Winter War, the, the Finland uh, versus Russia, the Finnish war there in the north. You have a Hungary campaign here. The hung uh, Hungarians were allied with the Germans. And uh, at, the, at the start of the invasion of uh, Russia, so you can play them here if you want. You have the Romanians were also allies, and they had a campaign in, the, in Russia. The Italians also had a campaign in uh, Russia. Operation Uranus uh, is also uh, still dynamic. Uh, this is actually mid-war to uh, start of the late war. Winter Tempest. It's after Stalingrad. You have, uh, oh yeah, you have this Bud Budapest to Vienna, this, right at the end of the war when the Russians were invading Europe. And uh, some of these uh, last uh, strongholds of the Germans here. Storm of the Reich, that's uh, the last couple of months outside Berlin. Uh, Operation Rumastov, it's loads here. On to Berlin you have here. All right, these are linked. Uh, sorry, I think, uh, yeah, the linked campaigns start here. Now, linked campaigns are story-driven campaigns, the, and depending on how well you do and what scores you get, you are assigned a um, scripted scenario for that campaign. So it's it's, it's, it's basically a story-driven campaign, and depending how good you do and how bad you do, you, the campaign can end prematurely, or you uh, you know you complete it and you. you you complete the campaign, so to say. So they have uh, a few of those. They are really fun to play. Uh, we have Crucible of Death there, Gross Deutschland at Kursk, Road to Moscow. Um, yeah, there's Black Arrows and Red Guards. So th there's loads of stuff here. I mean, it just keep you on, occupied for ages. It's, it's really fun, the campaign system in this game. And um, let's go back here. And another great feature is this, same as the Steel Panthers, the Generate Battle. Now this is fun, because uh, basically you can generate any any battle on the Eastern Front that you want to play, any, any size you want. And you can have kind of map you want, so 
let's say this is the invasion of uh, Russia here, June 1941. You can say it's preset here on the June North no Northern uh, Army Group. The weather here, what size you want, what type of mission. Meeting engagements is usually starts with no units on the map, and your forces are actually entering the map at random events. And uh, there's a couple of objectives to, to secure on the map, and you have to meet up and fight over those objectives and hold them to the end of the battle, basically. But there's lots of other fun stuff to do here. They have a delaying action. You have to delay your enemy. Either they have to cross the map and exit it, or they have to capture a couple of objectives. A static line is what it says there. Pocket breakout. You have armored breakthrough. River crossing. Uh, bridgehead, you have to hold and defend a bridgehead or capture a bridgehead. Mopping up is basically um, what it says. Uh, you know, you've pro probably broken through the defending lines and you have to mop up the, def the remaining defenders and they have to try to stop you and defend themselves. Uh, highway clearing, yeah, it says itself there. Recon attack is pretty fun as well. Mountain pass, you see the, they have loads of different kinds of scenarios here. The map is also, um, you can choose here, the default is Plains, City, and r and &R Roads. Um, you want to have a good mix of the terrain on the map, otherwise you'll get very open maps. And we, yeah, that's fun for tank warfare, but um, if you have just infantry and you are facing an armored <laughs> battalion, say, you're going to have problems advancing because you're going to be shot to pieces and destroyed in open terrain before you even reach those objectives. So bear that in mind when you build the maps. Um, you can have lots of fun playing around with this. Um, see the there's possibilities here are endless you can, until you find something that you think suits you here. Uh, so that's pretty fun. And also, once you've uh, found something that you like, you can lock it in place. Yeah. If there's something you're not sure about, let's say, I like this uh, map type, I do like the meeting engagement. I'm not so sure I want to duke it out in 1941. Uh, I maybe want to change to the center, uh, armor group center there. The weather is fine, I'm, I'm locking that in. Uh, I do want to stay in battalion, I'm locking that. So now I can just press random here. And this, these will just randomize into something uh, something else. So here is uh, a January 1943 there. Uh, and when this is grayed out, it actually means this is outside the historical time period. So Germany versus Russia in July 1945, the, the war was over. So uh, this is just hip, 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 hypothetical. If you want to play it, you can do it. You can have uh, these uh, fantasy battles if you want. You want to see if Germany survived all the way to July, and they can have a, a battle there. So you can keep going, going here. See, you, you have up to 1950, actually. So that's pretty cool. Uh, February 36 there. Here we have November 44. Or you can just do it manually here. You say uh, you want to have a battle at uh, 1942, the summer of 1942, say. Germany versus Russia there. You can change here. You want to have maybe Italian forces facing the Russians or Romanian, Hungarian forces, Finland, Slovakia, Soviet Union versus Russia. That's kind of weird. Uh, Bulgaria, and naturally Spain there. See, that was grayed out in Germany. You can find the Russians here, Poland. Yeah, you can do any kind of setup you want here. It's pretty fun. So that covers the generator. This is the kind of battle I probably will fire up for this Let's Play, so you guys can see it. Um, I guess I could try a scenario, but um, I probably won't. Uh, I'll just do a generator battle. It's the best way to learn. And you get randomized forces, and you have to see what you can do with it. It's also more challenging in that way. I mean, you could be unlucky. You could get uh, like a pure infantry-based force, and the you're facing a armored uh, force you will have big problems uh, to deal with enemy tanks and stuff like that so uh, that's a challenge that's fun so uh, this basically covers the menu system uh, so um, in the next video I was thinking of just uh, firing up a battle and um, 
we'll have a look at that and we play around the game and I'll show you the uh, menu systems and uh, uh, how to move units fire and assault and all that kind of stuff we'll probably have to do all those things so uh, that'll be fun so yeah this game uh, is a John Tiller soft uh, John Tiller game from the start the Matrix uh, released it uh, as this big great bundle so uh, lots of fun in this game you can do um, many many hours of uh, playability here and it's not that expensive uh, you can get it at the Matrix uh, website so uh, I played this game uh, when it came out you know in the 90s and uh, it was just called East Front uh, I think they released East Front 2 and it was West Front and they had the Rising Sun and they released the various expansion packs I remember on CDs and you, you could uh, install them and all that's included this bundle here so that's neat that's very great so I think that's enough for the introductory video uh, we'll get dive into the game in the next video and uh, hope you will enjoy this uh, game if you haven't played it you will probably after you've seen this and if you enjoy uh, sec uh, second uh, I mean World War two uh, tactical games turn-based uh, tactical games and you're a fan of John Tiller you're gonna love this game this game is actually quite different from the uh, those John Tiller games that you can buy from John Tiller's own website. This uh, is uh, quite different, uh, but some game mechanics are still the same. You can still see the John Tiller theme in this game. And I plan to cover uh, quite a few John Tiller games because uh, I'm a great fan of his, uh, his wargaming. So that will come up in the channel in the future. So I'm going to end the video here. and. Uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure to watch the next video because uh, we're going to get dive into the action in that one. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.